M, you have 48 hours to investigate. How much do you know about Elliot Carver, W7? Worldwide media ban. Owns newspapers, radio, satellite TV, movies, books, theme parks. Able to topple governments in a single broadcast. If you believe everything you read in the press. I didn't want to discuss it in front of the minister, but that mysterious signal came from one of Carver's satellites. PM would have my head if he knew you were investigating him. Elliot Carver. Born Hong Kong, officially an orphan. Unofficially, the illegitimate son of a German woman who died in childbirth and Lord Roverman, the Hong Kong and London press tycoon. A Chinese family took the boy for a one-time fee of 50 pounds. 30 years later, Carver built up a chain of rival newspapers that drove Roverman into bankruptcy and suicide. Nothing like family values. There is one strange thing. Carver owns that newspaper tomorrow. When I called our contact in Saigon, he said the Vietnamese only found our sailors three hours ago. How'd they get the paper out so fast? Somebody at tomorrow knew before the Vietnamese government did. I'm sending you to Hamburg, 007. We've arranged for you to be invited to a party tonight at Carver's media center. It's the main uplink of his satellite network, where the signal would have been sent from. He's celebrating the launch of a new satellite because now he has the ability to reach every human being on the Earth. Except the Chinese, who refused broadcast rights. James, your ticket, cover story and rental car reservation. Sign here, please. I believe you once had a relationship with Carver's wife, Paris. That was a long time ago, Em. Before she was married. I didn't realize it was public knowledge. Queen and country, James. Your job is to find out whether Carver or someone in his organization sent that ship off course and why. Use your relationship with Mrs. Carver if necessary. I doubt if she'll remember me. Remind her. Then pump her for information. You'll just have to decide how much pumping is needed, James. If only that were true of you and I, Money Penny. <laughs> 